I'm going to show you how to be able to play any PlayStation 1 multi-disc games that contains a disc 1 and disc 2 under a USB. Now, the requirements you're going to need is a PlayStation 2 Slim that has Freemie Boots and also a 32 gigabyte USB as you can see right here that's a 32 gigabyte and make sure it has nothing on it and also the two raw files of Metal Gear Solid uh, disc 1 and disc 2 and also my PlayStation 1 and 2 patcher and also this right here which this is contains the PS1 kit uh, I'll let you know that contains a file wait hold on I don't want you to get pissed off at me so I'm going to show you what, why it says it has a virus because of that thing right there, Chrono Trigger. I mean, Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross it might it might contain a virus, but I don't know. So you just go with it. So I'm just letting you know about that. It might contain a virus. So once you download it, it probably might pop up saying, "Hey, this thing contains a virus. Do you still want to do it? Do you still want to download? Still do it." But once you download it, um, once you download it, it should be in a raw file. So we do not hit extract there. So you, when you right click on the PSS kit, um, right click it, and where it says extract to here, don't click on that. Go all the way down where it says extract to the PSS kit. And it's, it's gonna make a folder. It's gonna make a folder for you. And then it should look like the uh, it should look like this. So so once you have done that, once you have extracted the folder, because you should see uh, all this shit. Like I said, this might contain the virus. So I do not know, and I could care less. But like I said, so once you have downloaded that, once you have downloaded that, and also my files, and pretty much Metal Gear Solid, which that link's going to be in the description, um, I'm, I'm going to show you where you can get it at too. But like I said, the link's going to be in the description for you, so you don't have to really worry about that. So I'm going to open up my PlayStation 1 and 2 patcher, where it contains these two folders. You're going to open up my PlayStation 1 and um, PlayStation 1 multi-disc patch, and then where it says Pop Starter, and then... And then when you open that up, like I said, once you get done downloading the PSS kit, then you want to open that up and then turn around. You want to open up the PS kit folder and go all the way down where it says Metal Gear Solid 1. You want to right click and hit extract here. And then it's going to make the folder for you. It should have a folder inside, which is above here. Then you're going to drag that and move straight to where it says Pop Starter. And then you open that up. Bam, there you go. And once you open that up, um, it should have all this stuff. That's pretty much it. And you're also going to need the Q, Q2 Pops, and that's pretty much it. So, and I'll show you the rest about this, what's this all mean and crap. So, what we're going to do now, um, do not touch nothing else, but now we're going to go straight to Google, or whatever web browser you got, and open it up. And download this, Metal Gear Solid Disk 1 of 2, and also Metal Gear Solid Disk 2 of 2, which you download them to. Then just pretty much wait for me. Um, also let you know, you gotta make sure you have my PlayStation 1 and 2 patcher. So if you do not have that, please download that right now and extract it. It's gonna have a folder already for you. Um, once you're extracted, then turn on when you extract it. Like so, like I said, make sure you extract the PS uh, the PSX kit and make sure you hit extract to the PSX kit. And so it, so it can create a folder and has all the files in there, which is supposed to have 45 files. And then once you have done that, move that into my PlayStation 1 multi-disc. And then it should look like this. You should see this. So it should, you see, uh, you see where it says my place on um, PlayStation 1 multi-disc patch. And right here where it says pop starter. And then right here where it says PSS kit. And then there you go. So once you have done all that, then all thing you want to do is down, once you get done downloading the Metal Gear Solid, this one and two, you want to highlight both of them and then you're going to right click and you want to just extract it here you should come across the Metal Gear Solid disk 1 bin file and also the Q file and also once you um you should come across another one that says Metal Gear Solid disk 2 bin and the Q file and that's it so once you have done that you're pretty much safe now I don't know if I want to play it on the computer or the Xbox One because I'm making a decision. If I'm going to play on the Xbox, I'm not going to be scared. Because it, because I got it, like, if I turn off the lights, I'm still not going to be scared, no matter if it's dark. Because I play so many damn scary games, and, and I'm not scared at all. But, like, now nah, I can, I, I'm telling you, you probably saw me with the VR. Like, oh, bullshit, hold on, I got proof. You screamed. No, that's VR. That's different. But you said any scary game, you're still not scared of scary. Uh, you're not scared at all. No, 
depending on what it is, if I'm surrounded, if I'm playing on a console, I'm not scared. But if I'm playing through VR, oh yeah, I'm gonna be jumping and bitching and screaming all, all through hell. So you pretty know what happened to me when I was playing it. So, um, but um, like I said, I got good news and bad news, more of a little bit bad news at the end. So I'm gonna explain that at the end. It's better off if I tell you the good news first. Well, the bad news, I might as well just tell you, but rip off the band-aid, be quicker. But I gotta tell you at the end because I don't wanna waste no time. Um, so it's better off if I explain it at the end. Explain it right now, it's just wasting time, and I gotta be done at a certain time and get my sleep and whatnot. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Oh yeah, I should yeah I should get that much sleep if I finish at the right time. But anyway, what what I wanted to tell you is that I just got myself at HP Pavilion, is P A V I L I O N, um laptop. It's a touch screen. It has a one ter oh, I'll say twelve terabyte that would be awesome. A one terabyte hard drive, twelve gigabyte um RAM, two G two GB. DD or SDD something like that DDR3 or some shit like that. Uh, I'm not making this stuff up. I'm really serious and also uh, It's like I said it's a touch screen. I, I don't know if I said it already. Yeah, I said it uh, as a touch screen and also on top of that it has a Navita GeForce 950 GT something like that or GXT. I don't know but something like that um, I'll, I'll unbox it and I'll show you what I'm talking about at the end but I have that, I have that laptop, it's coming in today, so I have that laptop, and um, the main reason why I bought that, because more, most of it is going to be for VR, and on top of that, this laptop I'm using right now, this is the Lenovo um, AMD A10 Radeon R6, oh, and also I forgot about the processor of the that laptop I just bought, it's a um, 2 point, it has a 2 point, it's 2.50, 2.5, um, CPU speed, but with the turbo boost with it, it goes all the way up to 310. That's pretty damn good, and that's a gaming laptop. You know what I mean? That's a gaming laptop right there. But um, but but this one right here I'm using is decent because one, like I said, is AMD A10 um, Radiance R6 uh, with the 4G plus CC uh, 1.80 gigahertz. And also, it's a one terabyte and also eight gigs of RAM. No NVIDIA GeForce, so this is not like a gaming laptop, but it plays PC games. So, and I ain't talking about the old one, I'm talking about like you know, like Octodad, Dadliest Catch, and you know, all the Cedra other ones. But the ones that can, it can play the PC games, but not the ones that needs the most of requirements. So, that's why I got myself a better one to be able to play them. Um, I spent over 500 and some of my damn dollars, yeah. 584 no bullshit and you think I'm horseshitting around so once you have download this um, you're going to right click on the first one where it says Metagrid solid disk one and then you're gonna I'm going to do what the fuck <laughs> all right you're going to type in MGS minus one and then you're going to hold shift and you're going to highlight both of it and you're going to copy it and then you're going to right click on this one and then hit paste and hit my two and then there you go and same thing with this one you're going to do that do that okay and do and this one right click da, 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 da. all right there you go and so once you have done it you will go right back open up my file all right and then once you open up my playstation one and two patcher and open up the playstation one multi-disc patch then right there where it says pop solder, as you open that up, then you should come across, you should have highlight all these four of these right here. Then move straight to the MGS1 folder. Once you open that up, then you want to right click where it says extract and then hit edit. And then turn around, you want to type in MGS. Do the same thing with the other one. MGS and then hit exit and hit save. And then after you do that, then you want to turn around, you want to double click on extract, and then there you go. This should be running perfectly fine. You should get you should come across all this. So pretty much watch as watch as I do it. 
Um, it should, it should be working perfectly fine for you. Like I said, you gotta make sure with your 32 gigabyte flash drive, it could be a 64 as well, but you gotta make sure you have a 32 gigabyte flash drive or 64 and make sure it's formatted. It don't have to be FAT32, format it exactly how it's supposed to be. So when you format it, it's supposed to be exactly as it's supposed to. Just format exactly like it is and that's it. So once you have done that, do you wanna um, double click on the PSX tools, the back one, not this one, but this one where my mouse is on, double click on that. And then it should say all this, 1998. If you get a different one, um, then I don't know about that, but you should get exactly what I'm getting. Um, then just hit enter and continue. Then what you want to do now, you want to go where it says patch. You want to open up patch and where it says CD2 DVD underscore 10. Um, you want to double click on that. And then it should pop up all this stuff that's doing right now as we speak. Yeah, it's going to do that. So I'm trying, I'm trying to kick it up a notch and to make it more faster so you don't have to really worry about all this crap. So, well, me, I don't have to really worry about this because um, I don't have to really download the stuff. I just download it, been, been there, done that type of shit. All right, download it. So now what's going to happen? Um, when you open up CD, don't open up CD1 because you're going to fuck everything up if you do that first. So open up CD2 and then highlight all of it and then copy it Then you're gonna and then you're going to paste it into merge. Then, uh, then you should have all that doing it, doing this thing. Now, once you have done that, you want to go back and hit CD1. You want to highlight all that and hit copy. And then you're going to paste it into merge. And then once you paste it into merge, it's going to ask you to replace. Uh, it's going to say, uh, there's going to be three files. Uh, do you want to replace the three files in the destination? You want to just hit replace. So it's going to ask you to replace the files. So right here, it's going to say in about a few seconds, it say this destination has three files with the same names. You want to hit replace the file, replace the files in the destination. And then once you have done that, then turn on what you want. Oops, sorry. Then once you have done that, the only thing you want to do, you want to hit build. You want to just double click on build. Oh, double click. Double click on build. And then it should pop up all this stuff. If you're doing the right way, if you're doing the wrong way, then... You should, it should pop up exactly like this still, but it should pop. But you should, you should get a small ass file if you do it. If you do it, if you're doing it the wrong way, but if you're doing the right way, it should be like this, like doing all this crap. So you got a long time period of waiting. So just wait. You just have you have to wait. It's more of a like I said, patience is the key. So this is why I do a lot of talking about certain things. But like I said, um. But that's the main reason why I bought that system, um, bought that computer. So it's pretty cool. And what I mean by 2.5, it's 2.5 gigahertz. Yeah, 2.50 gigahertz. But the Turbo Boost, if, if, if I go with the Turbo Boost, it's 3.10 gigahertz. Which is pretty cool because I actually play Batman Arkham Knight and Cedras. But I'm sitting there thinking to myself, what's the damn difference? It's like this. What's the damn difference? If I want to play... Res Evil, see it says Resident Evil, but it didn't say Resident Evil 7, but it says Resident Evil 7 on the thing itself, on the title when you actually turn the game on and shit, you know where it gets you to that little tape recording looking thing, yeah, so anyway, but um, but what, it's like this, it's like what's the difference, if you want to play Resident Evil on a PC or a laptop, I mean if you want to play on an Xbox or on the laptop, what's the damn difference? It probably could be the graphics, and you're pretty much a more of a PC gamer. But if you have two systems, if you have a, a Xbox One like I do, and also a laptop, which one do you want to play on? And you're sitting there like, does it really fucking matter? Does it really matter? <laughs> you know? The faster the better you pick, the better you'll be able to get a chance to play the game. You know what I mean? And pretty much, you probably will save yourself from a lot crashing if your computer can't really handle it. So you gotta like a choice now. You're like, oh, I better I play it on that. So once you get done, um, once you once you get done, well, once it gets done doing whatever it's doing, then turn around. You should see these two right here: the MGS1 uh, bin file and MGS1 Q file. You want to highlight these two, and then you want to move this right into the pop starter folder. So double click on that or click on it and then you want to move this again into the Q, um, Q2 pops folder and then once you turn once you do on that then you want to move the Q folder the, the Q file you want to drag it into the Q2 pops 2 3 
and then it should do this number. It's saying saving the virtual CD ROM image. Please wait. So you gotta wait, pretty much. And so now it has physically made the VCD file. And now we want to do you want to move this right back to the pop starter again. And you can delete this if you want to. It's really up to you. It's not my choice. Uh, which I'm going to do to show you proof that I don't need it no more. But keep the Q2 pops. Trust me, you're going to need it. And also, you can delete the Metal Gear Solid because I don't need it either. But here's the Metal Gear Solid VCD. And now this is what you want to do. You want to right, uh, you want to right click it and rename it and type in Metal Gear Solid. Oh, and that's it. And once you have done that, then you want it to now you want to put your 32 gigabyte USB into your laptop or PC, whatever you're using. And you want to plug that in. And then now we want to do. You want to go back. Stupid ass me. I know what I'm doing. Oh, duh, okay. Well. All right. So you want to, we want to do first, you want to, let me see, yeah. You want to drag the pops folder inside into your, um, inside into your USB of your root of your USB. You want to drag that in there. <clears throat> and then now you want to create a folder and call it pop starter. And I'm going to tell you what to drag in there since you got a lot of stuff in that one folder. So, and call it P-O-P-S uh, T-A-R-T-E-R. -E there you go. And then, so I'm gonna open up this pop starter that has everything. Now, you're going to move pretty much these two right here, the pop starter.elf and that kelp, move that into the pop starter. And also, now you're gonna move this Metagear Solid VCD into the pops folder. And then that should take place. So just give it about a few minutes or so, and then you should be already set to go. So you should have no problems after that. But um, like I said, this is pretty much it's it's not this is simple. It's rocket. It's not even rocket science. It's really more easy. Um, just pretty much follow that step if you want to do Metal Gear. Now there's actually like. Um, this, they got these little things in these raw files. They have these little readme documents, readme text, and it will tell you how to do it. Do it exactly in that step, you should be fine. Because it's going to tell you at the end how much gigabytes you're supposed to have. See, I can't recall it's 130 gigabytes, but I contain it 131. So the files will be more bigger. For some random ass reason. So. So yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? 130, 131. What's the difference? Um, when it makes when it makes the VCD one, it does that. When it makes a VCD file, it makes it actually goes up a little bit. 131. I don't know why. So, but like I said, that's pretty much it. You're done after that. Well, truthfully, you're actually done. Now, like I said, only thing you have to do is pretty much start a, uh, once this gets done, the only thing we have to do is, oh, that, yeah, you pretty much have to, one thing you have to do is pretty much move that Metal Gear Solid VCD into your USB, into your pop starter, you, you know, because you can tell, you know, so just be careful when you're doing it, but, um, but I'll show you, I'll show you what you're supposed to have in your USB in about a few seconds once it gets done. So that's, I'm just being, I'm just waiting. I don't want to do that. Can we have the speed time, please? So I'll do that. You know, I don't want to do that shit. I'm too tired. And now that I got no time for editing, I'll do the editing later on today. But, um, because I need to put some, like, I need to put the intro and the outro and, uh, the music in there and all that shit. I just got no time to do it now. You know what I mean? I ain't got no time for that. So now into your now you're done with this. You can just 
delete that thing right here. You can delete that and say the words bye bye. Um, that's but that's from my um, that's from my actual file. Now on my USB. Now do not delete the one from your USB. So on to your USB. Once you open up the pop starter, you should see these two right here. Now right here, you want to do this. You want to rename it and type in. You want to do this. You want to type in XX. Is it XX? Yeah, XS dot Metal Gear Solid. It should look exactly like that. I could be wrong. Yeah, wait, hold on. I could be. I know. I'm probably doing it right. Oh yeah, it's Big X, Big X, Big X. My bad. Two big X's. <laughs> Stupid. Two big X's. It's supposed to look like this. There you go. Now it makes sense. So it's supposed to see two big S, a dot, like a, a period, I mean. Two X, period, Meta Gear Solid, period, Elf. Do not change nothing else. Do not change that. Keep it exactly like it is. And, um. Then, then right here, you keep these two in here. That's it. Don't fuck with it. So now it's time to actually hop on to the the uh, couch card. So give me one second to mess with all this real quick. So give me one second. Okay. So now since we're actually on the game uh, GameCube, well, I'm about to be so fucking retarded. All right. Since we're now on. All right, since we're not on the game of uh, the wow the PlayStation 2 right since we're not on the PlayStation 2 now this is what's gonna happen now I'm gonna hop back on to my uh, to on the, the uh, uh, PC real quick and so like I said here we still are so remember on your pop starter you gotta make sure you look exactly like this if you're doing Metal Gear Solid and also with the Metal Gear Solid um, Gear Solid uh, with the pop it, in your pops folder you got to make sure it has this and That's pretty much it. So what we're going to do now. I'm going to eject the USB Safely So no problems will be caused All right So now here's my USB that has everything that it needs now. I'm gonna put my USB into the first thing Give me one second to do that. I'm printing the first port. I do not have the game itself because I'm going to show you in about a few seconds once I uh, plug in my controller. If I'm not too damn fucking lazy to clean up, I could be simply having everything set up as Okay, so now since I have my U, uh, since I have my uh, controller. Whoa, she Alright, since I have my controller now, I'm going to go to browse real quick to show you proof. To show you proof that, look, I'm going to show you this. See? Here's all this. This is what I've been playing. So I don't got the game. You see the disc? You see that I'm supposed to have the disc, right? So on the PlayStation 2. You know what I mean? Free me boot. Yeah, see? Yeah, I got nothing else. I don't have nothing. So now on the I'm gonna um open up the U launch data on um, the U launch elf. I'm gonna open that up real quick. And then now I'm gonna go oops, I'm gonna go down where it says mass and go where it says pop starter and then where it says um meta gear solid. Give it a few seconds. See, it does that. You just gotta give it a few seconds.
And there you go. And this is from, this is not physically, like I don't literally have the game, I just played through this. Now I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna mess with the buttons. There you go, Metal Gear Solid. And I don't even have the game. I don't even have, I don't have the actual disc. Cause it contains two discs, so how am I be able to play the burnt disc, then turn around once I get to the certain scene, I have to mold, I have to swap the disc out. You know what I'm saying? So, but, like I said, that's the game, and I have the game, so. I'm gonna press start, start new. I can actually go easy or hard, but you know, I can do that shit and just go down. Start everything up. So. As you can see, yeah, it looks pretty fucking dark. Don't, don't ask, but that's how the game is. The game is completely dark. There's nothing I can do on my side. To buff up the brightness, um, but that's how shitty that is. I mean, I probably can buff up the brightness a little bit, but I don't know. I really don't know. It just looks really, really dark. But once I get to the outside zone part, it should look perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, you can't actually play Metal Gear Solid from PC. They actually do have the PC, I'm not gonna lie. They do have the PC for it. So, but yeah, like I said. So, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna skip all that shit. This is Snake. Real Colonel, can you hear me? And Loud and clear. What? But, there you go. Like I said, I don't even have a game. But, I just showed it that it works perfectly fine. And yeah, so like I said, I just been now. I hope it worked for you. I hope it did work, and I hope everything went perfectly fine for you. For you when you was trying to do Metal Gear Solid, I hope it ran perfectly fine. But if you did wrong, just go back and just relook on what I did, and just follow the way I did it, and then you should be fine. So um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But now for the bad news. Uh, I've been waiting for this just to explain it. Now, I'm trying to explain it fast as possible so I can actually go to bed and everything. So pretty much what's happened. If you go back in my first giveaway video when I was actually doing the giveaway. Not the winning part. Not the person who won. I'm talking about when I was doing the giveaway. Where, um, where I was saying, you know, like... If you want to enter yourself to win a PS3 game, if you, the, the, the owners, if you own a Xbox One, a PS1, I mean Xbox One, a PS3, you know, that type of shit. If you own a PS4, or PS3, or Xbox 360, or Xbox One, Cedra, 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 if you own anything like that, here's your options. Remember that one? Now, when I was doing that giveaway, this is where... Um, this is where it's gonna get real bullshit where you kind of try to believe it, but believe it or not So what happened when I was doing that giveaway this one? I was not borrowing no money from my mom So when I don't borrow no money, I can be able to do the giveaway I, It's not it's not like my mom's telling me. Oh when you borrow money don't do a giveaway. No, it's like when I borrow money I tend to fuck up because when I borrow money is because I need to either buy something for me to fix a, fix something that got broken you know what I mean like for example like my PlayStation 2 disc laser needs to be refixed I mean refixed or my Nintendo 64's controller needs to be refixed and so that's you know that type of shit and so so that's why on certain times when I was like when I was doing when I was doing my second giveaway it was no problems, but it was a little bit wait. It was like kind of like, you know, you had to wait at a certain time to be able to get what you want. So when I was doing the second giveaway, um, I was sitting there thinking to myself, now I'm borrowing the money, so how can I do this? So I said, you know what? I'm gonna use that money 
for some for someone. So when I did it, what happened was my paycheck came out, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna give this money um, to um, Lao Pak Maz because he was the winner. I gave him that money on the second giveaway um, because he won the couch card and the headset. So we and him went shopping. You know, me and him went shopping. We didn't go like walk together and shop. No. Me and him were just looking around. I was looking around for him just to find what kind of headset he wanted. And he actually found the headset he wanted, pretty much, common sense. And um, on top of that, what happened, uh, he bought the capture car on his side and the shit went on from there. Now, this third one, the third giveaway I'm trying to do, trying, and that's the thing, trying. What happened, when I was trying to do the giveaway, I started borrowing more money. But because the main reason why is because my phone started messing me over. Because in the back of the Samsung Galaxy S4, the uh, the antennas was messed up. So I couldn't get no phone signal. So now this week, I had to buy myself another phone, which is pretty good. It was pretty cheap. $119, somebody sent. I bought myself a Galaxy S5. Um, I, well, I just, just go ahead and fucking buy the Samsung Galaxy S7, um, why not, but I don't have the money to do that, so I say the words, fuck it. So what happened, I bought myself the Galaxy S5, and that's where all the money went. So that's why I couldn't be able to do the giveaway, because something has happened. So as I was doing the giveaway, something came up, and it fucked me over, and so that's why I had to jump to a different day, say, hey, I'm sorry, I can't do it today. Uh, I can't do it this week. How about next week? So every time, so I'm letting you know. So every time I do a giveaway, if I say I'm going to do it on this day, don't believe me. Don't believe me on that. Um, I probably change up and do it on a certain day. But now, if I'm not borrowing no money whatsoever, if I'm not borrowing no money from my mom, you know what I mean? If I'm not borrowing no money from my mom, then what's going to happen? Uh, I'll be doing a giveaway, and then bam. On that day, if I say the words, hey, I'm doing the giveaway, so if you want to win whatever, I'll announce the winner on that day. It'll be on that day. So you kind of get the picture of what's going on. So like I said, the main reason why I'm trying to do this third giveaway is because, one, I was getting, um, I'm getting screwed. It ain't because of, it ain't because of. Me is because what's been going on. I've been having problems lately, but everything's being fixed now. But it was my phone and plus my controller and uh, etc. And so I had to get all that shit fixed. And so that's why I borrowed one thousand, oh, one thousand, oh, one thousand, yeah, one hundred and fifty dollars to fix everything that I needed to do. And so, so when I borrowed the money, that's why I got screwed because I screwed up. Because when I borrow money, I'm fucking myself over. So every time I do a giveaway, I'm not going to borrow money to when I do giveaways. So if I do giveaways, um, this is going to be, um, so when I do the giveaways, it's going to be the day when I'm not borrowing no money from my mom. So the only time we do giveaway is when I'm not borrowing no money from my mom. So first, I got to pay off my mom, then I can do giveaways. So I can have the money to give you what you want. So it could be on that day when I actually buy it. You know what I'm saying? So I can actually announce the winner on that day. So so when I do the giveaway, it's going to be the day when I actually have, you know, the money and all that whatnot. So I got to make sure I pay off my mom first. Then I could be able to do whatever I want, you know, like go, you know, go buy you whatever or do whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I just got to make sure my mom's get paid off first. And that's pretty much it. And make sure that I have no more problems after that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. That's why for right now, shit's been going down the drain. But so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this giveaway over with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select one winner, and that's fucking it. And when I select that one winner, I'm not doing no more giveaways until I get done paying my mom. So once I get done paying my mom, we're back on schedule. I'll be doing another giveaway. Once I do another giveaway, we'll be back on top. I'll promise you on what day to do it. It'll be on that fucking day. I just got to make sure I don't get screwed on my paychecks. And that's what caused it. It's also because of my job. My Scott, my job fucked me over. So, because I only work in two days. Um, I was working one day and that really fucked me up. 
you, and you know how that feels. So, so people who actually have jobs or are actually working one day, you know, who's getting cut, that's, you know, you, you kind of feel what I'm feeling. So that was, but also that was my problem too. But that's fixed and that's taken care of. So I'm back on top where I'm at. So, but like I said, that was my main reason why now you understand what's going on. So pretty much that's it. But that's the only thing I wanted to show you and also wanted to tell you about the problems and all the whatnots. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to be doing a VR gameplay of Resident Evil 7. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to try it on my Samsung Galaxy S4 with the uh, virtual headset with the... Uh, you know the mobile phone headset but if this one doesn't work then I'll turn around and try to do it on my on my new phone that I'm going to get and also with the new laptop that's coming in today in a few four fucking hours so I gotta get my sleep now so this all can be edited and all the whatnot but um, anyway like I said I hope this worked for you and if you have any problems feel free to let me know and um, but like I said I hope I hope it solved your problem if it did good if it did it then please let me know um, and if it didn't work for you, please put a uh, please put a dislike on the thing. Please give me a thumbs down on it. But if it did work for you, please give it a thumbs up. But like I said, if it did it, thumbs down. If it did, if it did work, thumbs up. And please put a comment and tell me, hey, it worked. But if it didn't work, please still put a comment and say it did not work. And give it a thumbs down. You know what I'm saying? Just do it like that and be done. So, but anyway, like I said, I hope this worked and everything. But anyway, I just want to say is thank you, Pistol Pip, so much for joining me. I'll definitely be better to do another Dark Mic video until next time see two for you know my video i am done my disney and my games thank you pissing pip best once again for joining me better come back now here keep your pip hands strong and stay pimping thank you goodbye good night and mosh